Hey, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is Dr. Tara Tara. We're going to do the reading a little different tonight. We're going to see what's going on in your life. Um, I'm assuming you're here to do it for a love read. You want to read about your love life. So we're going to do uh, three different decks. We're doing the uh, Light Seers, the Steampunk, and the uh, Wizard's Tarot. I'm going to do uh, a different deck for each line. So let's take a look and see what's going on. Okay, the world card has come out twice now. Because I just started, I tried to do a, a read, and I just... I, know, I just was not on my game. I was like, what is wrong with me? Is it because I'm tired and I'm just, I'm not connecting? Um, you have the Tower card, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Wands. So you're fighting with somebody. Big blow up. Um, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so I see a lot of Wands <laughs> and two major Arcana. So a lot of passion, a lot of fighting. You know what? When some when there's a lot of passion, there's also the um, the ability to have conflict. <laughs> Because the emotions run high. So, so you might be, you and your person might be um, both a little bit hot headed, or when you're together, you're hot headed. Very passionate about each other, but at the same time, you fight. You like doing things that begin with F. I'm just saying. Um, so, how <laughs> is, like, what is it? There's a lot of passion. There's fighting. There's, a love of having fun, but then there's a big blow up here, and you're just kind of going out into the world and focusing on the world. Um, moon card at the bottom, so things are kind of confusing. You're not really seeing, dude, this is pooky. Dude, come on, man. As soon as the camera's rolling, he is over here and just pay attention to me, pay attention to me. Want to be in the spotlight. All right, so things are really confusing. It's hard to see. Um, and I think maybe there may be some fears. There might be some fears. Um, so let's clarify the world card. Um, I'm going to go back and clarify each one with the uh, Wizard's Tarot as well. So actually, you know what? I already... Sh here, let's do it this way. I can do them both at the same time. And if, as far as signs go, you got Sagittarius, um, Aries, Scorpio. Hey, ouch. Aries, Scorpio, um, Aries again, Scorpio again, and Sagittarius again. <laughs> so lots of Aries, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. All right. And both Aries and Scorpio traditionally are ruled by Mars, the planet of um, action, aggression, and energy. So. Um, the world card is being clarified by the judgment. You know what? There's a lot of major arcana going on in here. Um, and then the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Ultimate happiness. Choosing ultimate happiness. So you're you're going out into the world to find your ultimate happiness? I don't see an Eight of Cups where you're walking away to find happiness, but it's like you're going out into the world and making a decision to, to find your ha happiness. There's a rainbow in here too. Um, so the tower card, what is this tower moment? You know, big blow up, shake up. Um, you have the ace of swords and the four of pentacles. Um, very clear about what you've been holding on to. You're, you've, you're seeing the truth about, there's illumination or there's a clarity about um, what you've been holding on to what you've been stubborn about. Uh, Queen of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Wands um, and the King of Wands. What is the... There's a lot of wands in this... <laughs> Leo. You're and, and you're a fire sign, too. Um, yeah, a lot of... Just a lot of passion. A lot of action, activity, fighting, you know, whatever. Uh, but fast movement towards this um, King of Love. Or not, not King of Love. King of Passion. Uh, but you got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands right here being connected by the Eight of Wands. Uh, quick movement towards each other, it looks like. Um, so what are you fighting about then? Page of Cups, immature when it comes to love, immature with emotions. Three of Wands, too much waiting. So are you dealing with somebody who spends more time waiting to see what happens than actually taking action? But they're passionate. Um... So what is this Knight of Wands? Um, this playboy, playgirl liking to have fun. 
Um, you get the clarified by the Four of Wands. I swear to God. <laughs> and it's in all three decks. So I'm kind of glad I'm using three different decks. I'm, tr I'm doing something different. I'm glad I'm doing it this way because it gives it a chance to really, really come out. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, what I tried to do with the reading before, I tried to do it and I just I wasn't on my game. It started off with the, the King of Pentacles. So now instead of having the King of Pentacles in here, you end on the Queen of Pentacles. Having, this is Four of Wands and Queen of Pentacles is, is having what you need, having stability, having security, having the resources you need, things being stable, things being happy, stable, and, and good. So Two of Swords is having to make a decision you're trying to make a decision. Uh, you know what? You had, I think it was you had the um, the two of pentacles earlier. And then the four of cups again. Did you have the four of cups earlier? Yeah. No. I thought, didn't I just see the four of cups? I, okay, there's the four of wands, but um, maybe not. Oh, it might have been in the, it was in the previous one. That's right. It was in the previous one and I, um, I just, I couldn't connect. So I said, fuck it. So I started over. So at the center of this reading is the Eight of Wands. That's a, a Sagittarius card. But fast movement. Um, I think connecting this Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. There's so much wand energy in here. And passion. Wands can also... It's all about sex, too. <laughs> but, uh... Wow. Just look at all the wands. <laughs> it's good. And wand, a wand is actually um, metaphorical for, well, it's the male phallic symbol, right? All right, so you have queen of wands, five of wands, knight of wands, four of wands, eight of wands, king of wands, three of wands. <laughs> it's a lot, right? In a 15 card spread. And then you have um, one, two, three major arcana. Yeah, three major arcana. And then on the bottom, you have another one. So I think you've, you've been disappointed, though. That's the only thing. You've kind of been bored and disappointed with the love that's being offered to you because it's maybe... It's immature love. Yeah. Immature love. Um, or just not, not that, not really, it could be somebody who's just emotionally unavailable. Um, and you're like, that's not love. You're not offering me love. You're not, you're not giving me love here. Um, cause maybe all they're giving you is sex. They're giving you passion. They're giving you sex. But when it comes to love, there's, you want the Ten of Cups, right? That's what you want. Um, but instead, you're feeling the Four of Cups. That's disappointment and boredom, actually. They're offering you a Page of Cups. A page is like the least amount. That's the most immature. You know, you go from Page to Knight to, you know, King or Queen. Um, it's the, the least amount or the most immature part. So it's like somebody who's very... Um, immature in love, Im you know, emotionally immature. So you're here. You are trying to make a decision. You're making a decision because you're bored with this, and it's confusing. It's just confusing. Um, all right, Leo. Well, let's do. Okay, so let me shuffle this. I shuffled this earlier when I was doing the Cancer read, thinking I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking I was shuffling an Oracle deck, and when I flipped it over, I had the Hermit card, and the Hermit came out earlier, and so I was like, okay, well, Virgo is definitely figuring prominently in this one. Um, so, Messenger of Air, so that is like Knight of Swords. Didn't we have, did we have Knight of Swords already? No, we did not. Um, we have Knight of Wands. All right, so someone's gonna be coming in, I think, quickly. Oh well, yeah, because eight of wands. So someone's gonna be coming in quickly with a message. So they're gonna I think someone's gonna reach out to you. But 
you may feel that this person is just really immature. So I don't know. You may not want to. <laughs> you may not want to um, entertain this person. All right. Let's see. I am freezing. It is going to be 18 degrees tonight, and I'm freezing. Oh, forgiveness. So it is asking you to show forgiveness. You know, you may not want to focus on being forgiving. Um, all right, so let's do this one. And then we're going to six star cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we're going to go on to the uh, Virgo reading. All right, so we have healing, forgiving and healing. So just, and look, the heal card just came up in the Cancer reading. So if any of you are on the cusp between Cancer and Leah, um, healing is definitely in order. Definitely. From whatever... I'm not doing it. I'm just... I'm too tired. I'm not picking it up. I'm not picking it up. It does not want to be a part of the reading. Alright, so... And then we have daydreams and decisions. Well, this would be daydreams, and this would be decisions. <laughs> and decisions. Look, two cards of decisions right next to each other. Alright, and... So, six cards down is destiny, and then we are going on to Virgo. We are not doing all those. All right. They think you're a bitch. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You're like, whatever. Pray more. Go for a joy ride. They lied about it. Okay. Something. They lied about something. Um, they're so broke, it ain't no joke. And put some money aside. I think a lot of people are probably need to do that right now. And uh, just go along with it. All right. I don't know what you're going along with, but um, here. Put it over here so you can see it. All right, so, Leo. <laughs> I don't even know what... I don't even know what to hold up at this point. All right. Here. Leo, I love you guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in the next read. All right.